Hi guys, so it's late in December and I'm just doing a bit of maintenance in the aquaponics greenhouse um, and I've just noticed that the water is getting a bit too high in our grow beds so I'm just going to look at that today and to see if I can fix it. So what I've noticed is the water is getting up quite high so we're actually getting a tide mark here, you can see that at the top of the grow bed so the water is coming up higher than the actual um, clay balls that we've got in the grow bed. So what I need to do is I need to actually reduce the water from coming up there so what we'll do is in the auto siphon we just need to make a small adjustment so if you have a look in this auto siphon you can see that the water is getting up to the top here uh, ready to start the siphon off and that's almost level with the top of the clay balls so you can see just down the side here that we're actually getting water there we go coming up this high uh, which just means that all of the onions and the garlic are actually getting waterlogged right up to the top whereas we really want it about two inches away from the top uh, of the surface of the grow beds uh, in order that the plants can literally sit in the top level and have the roots go down into the water as it comes up and then as it drains away get the uh, the air to come through so uh, let's just make an adjustment to it so the first thing that i need to do is i need to take off the cover to the auto siphon and as i do you can just hit the water there just starts to overflow and then just with a pair of, of pliers what I now need to do is just go in there and actually try and get the tube from the siphon and just pull that one out. Just give that a bit of a wiggle. And as that comes out all that water is now going to start flooding through the drain and if we Go down to the end, you can see there, that it's like it siphon's kicked in uh, and it's going to empty that in and this is going to go into the canal. So that's absolutely fine. That's what would happen normally when the water siphon kicked in, so it'll just drain it down for us. When you take the pipe out of the siphon, just make sure that you go along, grab your inlet and actually just turn that off just to stop any water coming in while you're doing this change. Uh, the reason for that is obviously so you once you've emptied the bed and the water's gone down from the siphon area then it just means you can put the pipe back in without any uh, obstructions, any problems and the water flowing back in while you're trying to do it. Okay so once you've got your pipe and you've got the cover for the siphon out um, you just need to decide how much you need to chop off. In our case um, I just want to chop off a couple of inches so you've just got the main pipe there um, and you've just chopped off a couple of inches and then done the same from the cover for the auto siphon uh, and then once you've taken that off obviously just make sure that what's left you put the holes back in again at the bottom just so the water can drain back and then once you've done that all you do is then just reassemble the siphon and away you go so once you've finished with the, the adjustments to the uh, standpipe and the cover for the auto siphon simply just put them back in and then it will carry on working again so the reason I did that was just to try and lower the water level. So what I've done is I've planted some ginger uh, in one of our grow beds here. And if I just sort of dig down here a little bit, you can see the rhizomes that I've planted literally are just below the surface. So what I wanted to do was just make absolutely sure that the water wasn't coming up and covering the uh, rhizomes, just to give them a chance to, to grow. So let me just cover them up there. Um, and then uh, with the adjustment to the pipe, just means that the water's coming up below the level of those and it just means that it just gives them a chance for them to grow and uh, everything else just to get the water they need without it flooding the bed. Alright, thanks very much guys.